This video is an edited version of an interview that I did on the photographing of President Jacob Zuma for the cover of Time magazine. The assignment came from an agency in the US that I worked for. They said we need it in the next five days and we know there's a conference happening in Durban. Connect with the journalist, fly down and everything's organized. Just before Zuma was going to talk at the conference, we flew down and spent the night in a B&B and the next day we arrived at the conference hall. Even at that early stage in Zuma's reign, you know, he was already seen as a slightly dark figure. I was still negotiating with Zuma's press secretary when I arrived at the conference hall and he was saying, no, no problem, we'll sort it out, I just need to talk to Zuma, we'll find you a venue. So I, I didn't at that stage have a particular place that I could set lights up. It was in flux and I just had to be relaxed enough to kind of go with the flow. As things moved on, the press secretary started getting more and more edgy and was avoiding me, which made me start to become a little uncertain. I'm not actually sure Zuma knew it was going to happen at all. You know, <laughs> you know the way the, the whole presidency and the inner circle worked, it, it seemed very vague and I knew that at some stage Zuma was going to be flying back to Johannesburg. I then put my camera bags down with the journalist and said, I've got to really sort this out. This was my one opportunity to get Zuma before the uh, Friday deadline for Time magazine. If I miss this opportunity, I'm not going to get him. And that means that I'm going to lose my chance to have a cover photograph. So what I did was sit on the press secretary. And I knew when Zuma came off, I had to get him and Zuma together in order to make sure I got my time. But even then, my expectation of what I was going to be able to work with was already diminishing fast. If I was going to get him, I was only going to get him for a few moments. How it worked out was President Zuma came off stage. They were already moving towards their vehicles. And the only way I could stop him was by moving around and talking to the press secretary and at the same time drawing President Zuma into the conversation, just saying, this is your opportunity, you know, even though I was worried about my opportunity. It was, this is for the cover of time, I don't think you should really mess this up. And then he said, no, well, we've only got this and this time. And I said, it will take five minutes from beginning to end. The impression that I got was that Neither him nor his entourage seemed to understand the value of getting a cover that really put Zuma in a good light because already he had a lot of bad press. Initially, Zuma was reluctant and his whole entourage except the press secretary was saying, no, let's go, let's go. Then I persuaded him and he agreed to do five minutes. And the press secretary, fine, he's going to just chat to one person and we're going to go do the portrait in the VIP room. While I was setting up the lights, it was, okay, what am I doing? What do I need to do? I knew I had to get three setups. They have the cover and then they always have follow-up images on the inside. What I did was set up the initial portrait, the cover photograph, in a way that I had photographed many politicians and business people, which is using a side, they call it Rembrandt lighting, where the light sort of falls off around the face. I only had about a meter and a half to work in for that shot. So I had the portable black backdrop, which I unfolded and put up and did two, a two lighting setup. That took me about three minutes to set up. Then I put the chair in the right place and then he walked in the door and I shook his hand and that was it. It was like, okay, it's over to me. He's now mine <laughs> for this five minutes. I just knew, okay, I, like, I can't be too polite. I just have to get him to do what I need because they were very clear five minutes was my time. As one starts getting more experience with portraiture, you're able to be very directive and get what you want out of the subject without coming across as arrogant or too pushy. I think he was able to sort of see that I was trying my hardest 
And I was telling him what to do, but I was working with him rather than being arrogant in, as a photographer. I managed to get off probably 20 frames and I would shift the light slightly if I felt that the light wasn't falling correctly on his face. And I would also move slightly and ask him to move his eyes or his face just marginally this way or that way. It struck me that he didn't really grasp the value and the gravity of having a cover of Time magazine. There wasn't a complete engagement with me as the photographer which would lead to the cover and how he would be projected to the world. His demeanor was that of Zuma wanting to do whatever he wanted to do, which was move on to his next appointment, and I was a slight annoyance. The glint in his eye and the arrogant posture was just Zuma being Zuma. Cut, cut. That last line is a great way to finish it. I hope you enjoyed that short video and please like, subscribe and comment below and I'll see you next time. Is it over yet? This is good. It really is. What are they? Well... And find out what the future holds in store. Is it over yet?